Hello, good day everyone. My name is Gabriel Gamana and this is the first in a series of videos about the medical methods in engineering. Before I start the discussion, let me first introduce the numerical method itself. So without further ado, let's start. Generally, we can divide mathematics into two broad categories, the pure mathematics and the applied mathematics. Well, the simplest way to distinct these two broad categories of math is that pure mathematics is the study of math independent of any application outside mathematics. In other words, it is the math solely for its own sake. Here is the list of subject under the category of pure mathematics commonly taken by college students from college algebra the determination of the roots of the equation to integral calculus the determination of area bounded by a curve on the other hand applied math is the application of mathematical methods in different fields in short it is the use of math for practical applications here is also the list of subjects under applied math category from differential equation, the determination of temperature variation, to bridge engineering, the design implementation of feasible bridge solution. As you see, most of the subject presented here under the applied math category is based on the curriculum of civil engineering students since I am. A civil engineer and as you also notice the medical method is under the category of applied mathematics so what really is a numerical method generally speaking the medical method is the consolidation of pure mathematics as one subject it is the study of algorithm or process that utilize the numerical approximation to solve mathematical problems yes you heard it right we are going to assume a lot of things within the subject since it is an approximate solution of a mathematical problem. I can say that most of the solution under the pure math are exact solutions, while numerical methods is one of the approximate solution to solve alternatively a mathematical problem. So to make it clear, say for example that we are finding the roots of the polynomial equation x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. Using exact solution by means of algebra, we will apply factoring to the equation and, we, and that will give us x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 5 equals 0. It means that the roots are negative 3 and negative 5. That is the conventional solution under the course of college algebra. On the other hand, using the approximate solution in numerical methods, generally we don't have to simplify the equation. We will start the solution by giving an initial guess of what might be the value of the roots. Say for example, x equals 2. If we substitute that value of x in the equation, obviously the equation will not be satisfied. But remember, that is only our initial guess. Using algorithms are processed under numerical methods for example the algorithm of newton raphson method we can refine our initial guess by means of iterative solution in short a trial and error approach until we arrive in a value of x where it will satisfy the equation or the so-called convergence so using the newton raphson method where f of x is equals to x squared plus 8x plus 15 and the denominator is the first derivative of f of x which is equals to 2x plus 8 so using this equation we can now refine our initial guess by substituting x sub n equals 2 the refined value of x will become negative 0.917 Obviously, this value is still far away from our expected value, but if you compare it to our initial guess, it is quite nearer to the expected one. So, by continuously updating our x sub n, after a few iterations, we manage to arrive at the expected value of the root. Most of the solution under numerical methods will be handled the same way as this example. Since numerical methods or iterative solutions are simply a solution that requires continuous repetition, 
until a condition of a particular method is satisfied. This way of solution is very helpful, especially when we are dealing with transcendental equations, equations that involve trigonometric function or logarithmic functions, since it is too difficult to simplify the equation to extract the value of the roots. For example, 3x plus sine x minus e raised to x equals 0. Lastly, numerical method is very important because this is the way how computers solve our mathematical problems, and we are now living in a computerized world. Whereas doing a daily job routine that will took a week to get done can now be shortened by incorporating computer algorithms like engineering designs. They are so tedious you will surely spend a lot of time in front of your computer. But with the advent of technology, you can do it smarter, not harder. You can use VBA, for example, for your repetitive design computation within your Excel spreadsheets. Or one of the most common example of our interaction with computer is a calculator. Have you ever remember when you are using your solver function of your calculator? Did you notice that it is asking you an initial value before it proceeds to the solution? Solve for x where the initial value is 0 or you can change it if you want to. It is simply because the algorithm inside our calculator are based on numerical methods. So learning numerical methods is essential as well as exciting since we understand the background calculation of our computer and also we can write our own algorithms to solve different problems. So throughout this course, we will going to tackle these topics from nonlinear equation in one variables, the determination of roots of nonlinear equation, so system of equations, function approximation and interpolation, curve fitting, numerical differentiation and integration, eigenvalue problems, ordinary differential equation, app to partial differential equation, the solution of finite elements. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you have now the general idea of how understanding the medical method can help you in the near future. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Keep safe everyone.